Hi friends, I'm Megan. Welcome to Church at Home. I am so excited you're here today because I have a very important question for you. Are you ready? Did you know that God made you? It's true. You were made so special by God and he loves you so much. And our big idea tells us all about that. It says, I was made to be loved by God. Are you ready to say that with me? Just repeat after me. I was made to be loved by God. Great job. The most important thing about you is that God made you and he loves you. There's a song that tells us about just how wonderfully God made each of us. It's called Masterpiece. Friends, let's dance and sing to this song. Stand up and let's worship. Hey friends, we're gonna sing this song called Masterpiece. In the Bible, it says that we are God's masterpiece. We are the best thing that He has created. So when we sing this song out, I want you to know that you are the best thing that God has created. So let's sing it out. Before I took my first breath. You formed me. You formed me with your hand. All right, let's do some thumbs up. So Masterpiece. I, I am God's masterpiece. There's no one, no one like me. No matter. No matter what voices are shouting. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose to believe. I'm your masterpiece. Oh, 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 oh. I'm your masterpiece. Oh, oh. Great job, you guys. Let's sing out. We're all made. That was so much fun singing about God's masterpiece. That song said, every heart is a heart that you love. That means that every person God made, he loves. We can choose to believe that we were made special by God. I know this is true because of this book. Do you know what book this is? It's the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that tells us stories about real people and places from a long time ago. And in this book, God tells us that we are beautifully and wonderfully made by Him. And there's a real person from a long time ago that we can read about in the Bible. He shows us how much we are loved by God. I wonder if you know who it is. We better put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible Junior, Jesus. Let's meet Jesus, 
Heyo! God's one and only Son. He came to earth to save us, each and every one. Jesus is our King, the very best indeed. One time he rode into town, sitting on a donkey. People cheered as Jesus rode into Jerusalem for all to see. They put coats down before him and leaves from a palm tree, shouting, Hosanna, for their king had come that day. It's Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. Not long after that, Jesus was crucified. He gave himself up on a cross, and then he died. But three days later, he rose from the grave. His tomb was empty, and our sins he forgave. Woohoo! He is alive. Huh? Hey, oh! Ah! Jesus, our risen King, who came to save us, so we sing. He did amazing things, too many to count. Let's all sing and shout it out. Wow, God sent Jesus to earth for us? Why? Well, because he loves us. Jesus died a terrible death and was hurt over and over again, but Jesus came back to life. He chose to do that because he knew this was the only way to take the punishment for our sin. Maybe you've heard about sin. Those are the things we do, say, or think that God says are wrong. And Jesus did everything he did to take away our sin. He loves us that much. Remember, God made us to love us and we can choose to love him back. When we choose to say yes to Jesus and follow him, we are ready to do the amazing things God made us to do because we are God's masterpiece. Hey. There's a verse in the Bible that tells us about this. But oh no, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles so we can see our verse? Get those popping fingers ready and let's pop all the bubbles. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them out of sight! That's it! Alright, alright! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere. Yay! Good job popping bubbles, everyone. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Ephesians 2.10. Wow, that Bible verse tells us that we were made to be God's masterpiece because of Jesus. So friends, stand up with me and let's sing and dance to Ephesians 2.10 together. This song is Ephesians 2.10. It's all about how we are God's masterpiece, the best thing that he has made. So we're gonna get out our paintbrushes and dance with our paintbrushes. Can you move them around like this? Good job. Let's sing, For We Are God's Masterpiece. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew. In Christ Jesus, yeah. Two thumbs up so we can do the good things. So we can do the good things. The good things He planned for.
Let's sing together. Here we go. Alright, keep dancing. Let me see ya. Good job. We're gonna sing for we are God's masterpiece. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created. the good things. Thumbs up. So we can do the good things, the good things he planned for us long ago. Sing Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. All right, you guys, we're going to sing out Ephesians 2.10 again. I want everyone to sing it out as loud as you can. Ephesians 2.10. Good job. All right, now we're going to go down really low. Can you get even lower? Jump. Here we go. One, two, three, jump. All right, let me see you dancing and painting. Good job. Can you go in a circle? Good job. Let's sing for we are God's masterpiece. Everyone together. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created. Thumbs up. So we can do the good things, the good things he planned for us long ago. Sing Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. All right, we're going to sing Ephesians 2.10 again. I want to hear everyone sing it out. Here we go. Ephesians 2.10. All right, let me see you painting. And keep painting a circle. job singing and dancing everyone we sang that we are God's masterpiece God loves us so much and we are so special to him when we choose to say yes to Jesus and follow him we can do the amazing things God made us to do the best thing we could ever do is say yes to Jesus's love by choosing to love him too so remember our big idea I was made to be loved by God now, I know some friends who want to help us learn more about today's big idea. It's Izzy and Sarah. This week, they are making something special. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and get ready to go to Izzy's art studio. Let's watch. Hi friends, I'm Izzy. And I'm Sarah. Welcome to my art studio! Today, we are going to make something very fun and very snuggly. Oh. We are going to make sock stuffed animals. Is stuffing made of socks? Did anyone wear those socks? Will they be stinky? <laughs> no, they're fresh socks. Whew, I was thinking I would have to make a skunk if there were stinky socks. Yeah, that would make sense. But you can make any animal you want, Izzy. Hmm, what do you think you want to make? Hmm, I want to make a caterpillar. Okay, great. I love that idea. I'm going to make an animal that goes oink, oink. Friends, can you guess what that is? Hmm, a pig. That's right. Let's get started. I love making things because it reminds me that we're specially made too. The Bible says that we are amazingly and wonderfully made. Who made you? God. Friends, the most important thing about you is that God made you and He loves you. Why did God make everyone? Because God wanted a family. So we were made to be loved by God and be in His family. I want to be in God's family. That sounds fun. We can all make the choice to be in God's family. God sent Jesus to show us just how much He loves us. How did He show us? Did He make a special sock stuffers to give us on our birthday? That would be fun. He did something even more amazing than that. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, which are the things that we do and think that God says are wrong. That's sad. Why did He do that? 
Yeah, because He loves us and took the punishment for our sins. Jesus loves you so, so much. So tell me, if we do the right thing, how much do you think Jesus loves us? Hmm, this much? I think it's more like this. Wow, that's so much love. Yeah, and if we do something wrong, how much do you think Jesus loves us? Hmm, probably this much. Hmm, more like this much. That's so much love as before. Right? Jesus is a good friend whose love for us is so big, there is nothing we can do that will make him love us any more or any less. You were made to be loved by God. And that's our big idea. Can you repeat after me? I was made. I was made. To be loved. To be loved. By God. By God. How's that caterpillar coming? <gasps> wow. Amazing. I love it so much. I love how you made it with his blue body and his cute little antennas. Thanks. Can I see your little pig? Sure. I love his little piggy nose. And friends, do you like it? I love it. You know what? I think I love it even more because I made it. That must be how God thinks about us. He loves us so much because He made us. Now every time I look at this caterpillar I made, I'm going to think about how much God loves everyone because He made everyone. So friends, remember our big idea. You were made to be loved by God. You are so special, so beautiful, so wonderful, and so amazing. Come back next time for some more art time. We love you, friends! Bye! Bye. Those sock stuffies were so cute! And they were extra special to Sarah and Izzy because they made them. And that's how God feels about you. You are loved by God because he made you. You are extra special to him because he made you. Let's spend some time talking to God right now. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us and thank you for making us. Thank you for showing us how much you love us by sending Jesus. Help us remember how loved we are by you and how special we are to you because we are made by you. Amen. Great job, friends. Before we go, I have a question. Do you remember our big idea? Let's say it together just one more time. One, two, three. I was made to be loved by God. <laughs> you did it. I have had so much fun with you learning that we were made by God. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh.